uh, you have praised Ajit as a possible successor. Since he may be in line as our next CEO, can you give us a concrete example of a policy that he's written that's impressed you? And can you talk a little bit about the way he thinks, since we rarely get an opportunity to hear from him? Yeah, Ajit is not exactly a publicity hound. Uh, Ajit, no. <laughs> he, uh, I can't think of any decision he's ever made that I think I could have made better. Uh, and I've, I'm not privy to all of his transactions anymore. Uh, they're just, there are lots of them that, that are not of huge size or of great interest. But, but he tells me about all the interesting things that come along and all the very big things that come along. And uh, I would say this, you'd be better off voting with his, him than with me after listening to any proposition he brings up. He is, he is as rational a thinker as, as Charlie is, as anybody I've met. He loves what he does. Um, he, he's creative. He's very creative. Um, we have moved into one area after another uh, in reinsurance uh, when people came in copying us in one one uh, area of business that we would be operating in, and Jeet comes up with something else. Lately, we've been much more active in, in life reinsurance, but who knows what tomorrow brings? I mean, if there happens to be a, a huge cat uh, in the third quarter of this year or something of the sort, that might open up all kinds of uh, opportunities in writing uh, covers when when if capacity got strained, but who knows, who knows what will happen. All I know is that Ajit's mind works like a machine, you know, day after day, and he, he does love what he does, which is an important part of doing well in any activity. And uh, I really, I don't know what his, his best deal was. I know what my best deal was, which was hiring him. <laughs> Charlie? Yeah. Sir William Osler, who created a model medical school for the world, used to say that the secret of success in a field was getting very interested in it. Well, Ajit is really interested in what he does. Many of you don't know this, but every Thanksgiving, Ajit flies to London because they don't have a Thanksgiving holiday. We give him Christmas off, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ajit, we just, uh, you know, he is, he, I, I, I say how invaluable he is, and I'm not exaggerating when we talk about him. And he, he, uh, he is, to an extraordinary degree, he thinks of Berkshire first. Ajit, at various periods when insurance companies became popular for one reason or another. There was, you know, the, there was the big thing about Bermuda Company some years ago. Ajit could have monetized himself to an incredible degree. He still could do it. I mean, uh, people would hand him a significant percentage of any company being formed with lots of money so that immediately he could create, I would guess, in the hundreds of millions of wealth uh, without lifting a finger just by somebody putting up, you know, a couple billion dollars and saying you've got 20% of it or whatever it may be. And, I mean, and listen, he's smart. He knows that. And it's, it's, it doesn't cross his mind to do anything like that. I mean, he, we have, in comp, he always, he always thanks me for what I do at the end of the year. And I feel I've left off a zero, you know, <laughs> when I get all through. It's, it's, uh, he's just a remarkable human being, and uh, we are very, very lucky that uh, I think he has a lot of fun in what he does at Berkshire. He's got a cadre of about 30 people that work with him. Uh, there's many more that are settling claims and doing that sort of thing on runoff business, but, but it's, you won't find anything like it, in my view, not only in the insurance world, but really in almost any part of the, uh, the business world.
Let's go we there. didn't answer the question. Maybe you avoided it on purpose. Oh. Is what are our worst businesses? What are our worst businesses? Well, generally speaking, and this is this is general. Uh, I have well, I made certain mistakes in going into smaller businesses that really never had the potential of becoming big. Uh, but I would say overall. Uh, Probably I would call retailing, uh, you know, Dexter was our worst business, but, uh, but I have uh, the Furniture Mart, obviously, is a, is a terrific operation. Uh, but we have not made, despite being in numerous retailing, quite a few retailing businesses, for quite a while, we have not created major earning power there. Wouldn't you agree on that, Charlie? Yeah, but luckily it's a small part of the operation. Yeah. But you're right. They, but that, that's been the hardest game for us. And, you know, if we were a little smarter, we could have figured that out better. Well, <laughs> if we were a little smarter, we could have done a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Of course, C's is a retailing business to some degree. Yes. And, and, and you know, we had enormous success there, so maybe we started thinking we were geniuses. <laughs> you know, we were like the duck on the pond when it was raining, and we thought we were rising in the world because of merit, and it was just because it was raining. Yeah. <laughs>